Yeah, this is an interesting one, isn't it? So TJ versus Ruby Rose. This is a weird one because if anything, if coming off the back of what's happened with the whole um with the whole Duce Palooza crew and the stuff that's been going on with them, the allegations that have been swirling around the internet, this is another indication of just how um strange uh, well, no, this is not a good example because those guys are older, right? But it's just interesting how um, different the this generation are when it comes to their public relationship or how they deal with the opposite sex or people that they're into, right? Because this story follows this rapper from New York called T J. Little T J. Um, I'm guessing he's somebody up and will come up, and this girl called Ruby Rose, who's famous for dating Playboy Cardi in the past, and also a rapper in her own right. So I guess she's uh, somebody that a lot of kids are into, right? She's a cute girl, so I'm assuming guys are into her. Um, and he's not becoming a rapper. I'm sure her DMs are on fire. So somehow along the journey, this little TJ guy ends up hooking up with this girl. And then from there, we just go downhill. He ends up hooking up with her, uh, refuses to buy her flight home, which I'm not sure if that's a thing, or if that's the way they do things in America. If it is, fair enough, but... It's just the whole aftermath of it was really nasty and really just petty and childish. Don't go wrong, they, he is 19. I'm sure she's maybe no older than 22. But um, it's just interesting to see how shitty some of them. It's just there's a contrast, right? There's some guys like, you know, NBA young boy who's declaring that his wife, his wife, he's screaming out of his, of his head, right? He's got the girls in the scene in the frenzy, right? They're willing to kill each other over him. But, you know, he's fairly... There's, there's guys like him who kind of look like they like having girlfriends as opposed to like hooking up with randoms which from the outside of it I'm not sure sure but on the other side of the spectrum you've got guys like this who brag about how shitty they treat girls on social media and it really makes me wonder like what number one the girls see in those kind of dudes and it also makes me think is there is it a good thing for the up and coming dude to have because I think if you're an up and coming dude and you have a slight bit of game and you can treat a girl nice you should be able to sweep up pretty easily, especially within this kind of like American hip hop community, right? Because for the most part, from what you see, again, we don't know how the these documentary, not documentary, but these reality TV show people or the people on the or people that are out on the blog or the shade room, we don't know how they kind of spin the narrative. But from the looks of it, it looks like the guys do a really do you know do really bad by the girls, right? They really treat them poorly, and I guess because there's not many guys to choose from within that community, they're just kind of circling. Or, you know recycling the same dudes around each other they have to, and again if you're a girl that has a certain you know lifestyle requirements you know you're probably not going to deal with a ups dude but jesus man like is this really worth it having your business be put out there and for everyone to see it's just a bit nasty in it but this is the whole story anyway this is from what um uk drill news and says backstory she flew she flew to him he beat it and didn't want to pay to get her flight back and again it's a weird it's a it's a, it's a childish thing because he's 19 and eight to really brag about something like this but i think it's also kind of um maybe uh an indication of just where some of these guys minds are right in it it's more so the goal of it wasn't to get with the girl it was most just to have her as part of his connection right based on that famous future song right part of my like you know you're always going to be in my collection so maybe that's part of the kind of mindset that goes into this but let's play a bit of the video this is them hanging around right i'm assuming i'm talking what is this don't touch me please no what's wrong with the fuck are you now yeah bro sorry no flight going on what what's wrong with and they said every time I get in a car accident the impact is slow motion for me yeah it's just again it's a bit of a non-story there's not much more to add to this apart from you know I think it transpired that he did actually pay for a flight back and it was an argument a misunderstanding she then went onto Instagram and showed her money and how much stuff and saying that she didn't want to spend her money and blah 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 but it's just interesting like I said the, in contrast with what's happened with the Duce Plus and stuff with just how shitty some of these guys treat girls and Especially how this, I don't know, I get the impression it's Leo TJ do part of his stick is that you're kind of a ladies man. Why wouldn't you just want to treat girls nice, you know? If that's part of your kind of, uh, your thing, your appeal is, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe he can argue and say, but NBA Youngboy doesn't treat ladies nice, but I don't know, I think he does. If the girls are that much into lady NBA Youngboy where they're willing to kill each other over him, I think, you know, behind closed doors, he's probably a bit of a gentleman. Um, he might be playing them for, you know, 
for fools, but in general, I think they probably have a good time hanging out with the dude. But again, I just I just don't get it, man. Like I said, with the Dusa Palooza thing, if you're a party that promotes yourself, um, you, you kind of lean into the idea that you're a safe haven for girls or that, you know, loads of bad bitches come to your event. Wouldn't you want to treat those said bad bitches really well and make sure that they bring more friends? Uh, and they tell the other friends. They just keep, you know, they keep the... Uh, they keep your name hot in the streets right you want that kind of um you wouldn't want to be taking advantage of the people that attend your event week in week out because because you know what it reminds me of a little bit which is a, probably a bad comparison but it reminds me of why some people were really pissed off about what louis ck allegedly done to those girls right when he asked them to masturbate in front of them right because i think they were saying that it wasn't that he did it it was that he did it to people within his own community, right? Like people, his peers, right? Girls that are also coming up in the industry because they were put in a position where they felt as if, like, if they didn't allow him to do what he wanted, to, you know, to masturbate in front of them, that it would maybe hamper their career. Now, of course, in Louis' defense, he would say, no, he asks everybody that, right? He asks, it doesn't matter, he asks a fucking first lady if he could do it, if, if it permitted. Um, but I understand that kind of, you know, that tension of, like, oh, you know, this, this like so imagine in this Palooza case that guy is the person throwing the event and if he wants to slip his hand down my trousers should i just allow it because i want to get tickets for the next one it puts you in a weird a weird predicament and it's again it's it's more so on the dude's end to be more responsible and just not allow that stuff to happen and i would imagine too because again I've, I've only thrown parties back in the day and i didn't take advantage of any of the attention i had back then and i probably didn't have it anyway because you know i was just not aware of what was going on around me but when i support club night son you kind of wanted i think i was known at the time for like you know throwing away tickets and i mean drink tokens and giving them to random because i wanted them to come back you were kind of trying to be a people pleaser so if anything you were trying to do everything in your power to make people like you so they would keep coming back because you know by and large you know you know if you're a promoter and you do one in the club night you're not that special really in it right anyone can do what you're doing so part of the reason why people should be coming back is because of you and the kind of vibe that you uh, are able to cultivate in a club because, you know, everyone's got a night. Everyone knows how to put a flyer together and put a lineup. It's not difficult, but it's the intangibles that are going to make people come back again. And, you know, maybe just having a room full of people that look after each other. And, you know, if a girl gets too wasted, no one's trying to kind of take advantage. People are just trying to, you know, get her an Uber or call her friend to come pick her up. And, like, just really nice kind of caring things that kind of go a long way to kind of, you know, show that you are a bit different than what's out there. Because, you know, the general... Every, I think most people, most girls, I think, would expect to get nonsense attention from regular, regular high street places they go to, right? Because, you know, that's part and parcel of going to, like, an average Joe, you know, middle of the road, general population club. But then once you go to a place where the music is sort of, like, you know, catered to a certain demographic, it attracts a certain type of people, the people heading it are of a certain mindset, you would think that the action will also be different in your regular club that you went to back in the day but when it isn't when it doesn't happen it doesn't match up it can be a bit disconcerting but like i said again i think with this issue with tj and little and the ruby rose i think if you're a young a rapper coming up and you've got a, a minuscule amount of game and you treat girls nice i think you'll do really well because if guys like him are able to get away with this then it means i don't know what it means man it's just it, it probably looks bad on the girls too because it means that they're putting up with absolute dog shit of humans to you know because they just have to because in her defense too you know she's not gonna go for some dude that works at t-mobile she just isn't she maybe can say an interview and be nice and cute about it but she just it just doesn't make any sense they're not compatible right um they're not in the same world it doesn't make any sense whatsoever so i i, I have sympathy for her because she only has to she, only, she can only choose from people that work within the entertainment industry uh or the music industry um but you know she has to aim a bit higher than that man and again who knows there may be more to the story but it's just interesting to see how shitty some of these american dudes treat girls man it's just like wow